All right, Trent and Nicholas, here we are at the house. This video is probably not going to make you too happy, but I'll run through it as good as, as quick as I can. Um, dumpster is still out there. Front yard looks pretty good. Landscaping looks good. This little pathway needs to be kind of a brick pavered or cement or something right down through there. Um, we've still been getting a ton of rain, so the grass in the front yard looks good. But I don't know about the irrigation system if it was ever hooked back up. I know there is irrigation system there. Um, but I don't know if it's ever been hooked back up. This part needs water. The rain's gonna stop pretty soon and all that sod's gonna die if we don't get an irrigation system pumping in through here. So that's just a little heads up. Uh, this is where we gotta go in from the side because that front door still doesn't really work right. They got all kinds of tarps. Cleanup needed here. Patchwork. Cracks and yeah, there's some cracks and patchwork here. As my brother's pointing out, you can kind of see different. where it's, yeah, the paint is just totally different color. Here and over it's here too. It's ceiling, but they haven't finished painting it because you can just see where the mud, you know, just different colors. Yeah, uh, there you go. That's wide open. That's where all the return covers are. They actually did paint the garage since the last time I was in here, which is good. So the garage actually looks pretty good. It needs a motor still, obviously, for the garage door opener. This part over here looks a little knick-knack, but I guess we can live with it. It needs to be cleaned up. Um, that's the access for the attic, so I assume that's just going to stay that way. Washer and dryer, we're hoping work. I don't know if anybody's actually ever run those. Yeah, stuff of this, man. Yeah. That's got to be stuff of it. It wouldn't, take, it wouldn't be difficult. That uh, little piece right there. Eric saying just stuck out just to, you know, band aid it. This is a little, what used to be the bathroom. We just need to get a couple covers or, you know, cover that up. Um, however you want to do it. It looks kind of silly like that. Those are all exposed. You know, you still got the windows with. The walls just haven't been painted. I mean, you can see. Yeah, you can see the different different colors here. You can see the different colors here on the wall. Wonder what that's from, huh? I they just didn't get it off. I, they, they sprayed it. And they they just, sprayed, they sprayed it? it. They just didn't spray it off on there. Spray it off on there. You can kind of yeah. see it along the bottom. Still here. no water around the front door. That part needs to be. It's it's just a different color. It looks like from one spot to another. You think the paint is? I don't. I don't you can see over here paint. where like it's just dripped big time. You know, that's just shoddy work. And like Eric said, you know, some just looks thicker than others. You can see it. it's like in here, here in the corners, it just it's, looks like why is it like that? I just don't think they didn't spray it thick enough, or in some areas too thick. Okay, simple stuff there, like the outlet covers. Coming here to the kitchen, um, lights hanging down there. Yeah. Well, you can see them. Yeah, like that. And this part of it has a little bit more texture here. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming here to this bedroom. Let's this see. is wide open. This is like seriously concerning, especially with how much rain we've gotten. And the hinge, this isn't even hooked up, so I can't even close it. Maybe we'll try to push it from the outside. But this is wide open. What's going on with the vanities as to why the Both tile vanities, is Both there's like a space in between where the tile is and the vanity. Three inches? Yeah, I don't know. They're putting a transition piece or who knows what through there. There's no windows. Or sorry, no mirrors. Yeah. Cabinets there. Probably some of that. Need to finish off the hard work for the shower. The cheap wire shelving, I would think, probably. Let's see some of the coloring up here. It just doesn't look right. Some of that cheap wire shelving, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, you need to get some shelving in the closets. These are all just bare bones. Um, just check out the other two. I don't know if you can really see that, but in the in the glare of the sun, you can really tell how the paint's just not the right mixture, the right consistency throughout. Same thing in this bathroom. There's a transition piece, just just missing. You know, again, no mirror. No medicine cabinet in either of them. Okay, and now I'm at that bath. It's a little bit better, I guess. It's the same lane that I was in here before. These bathrooms, these bedrooms aren't too bad. But yeah, you can just see. Yeah, air pointing, you can kind of see throughout this whole place. 
painting before. Where it's just the paint just isn't consistent throughout. At least the covering of it. There's another window that's been broken there. These Jalous windows are pretty old school. And they, you can see where the paint is there. It used to be. That's the problem. So, you spray instead of rolling it, that's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Okay. So, all in all, not great news. I wish I had a better report for you. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a ton of work, but it's just no, it's not cutting good. corners and just being lazy in certain spots and having somebody come through and do it the right way. Really, this thing is secure too. Yeah, I need to get the house secured. There's no hardware in any of the, that front door and things like that. It's so, not a ton of stuff. It's not no, hard. it's not it's just yeah. It just needs to be done. All right, we'll try to push that window closed because I don't think I can do it from the inside. I know that. That handle's broken. So that's it, my friend. Talk to you soon.